actually had been laid off about three weeks before I was diagnosed, uh, which was an interesting, uh, at, the, at the time did not seem like a positive thing, it ended up being probably the best thing that could ever happen to me because I was able to 100% focus on my health. You, you get this diagnosis and you're like, okay, it's clear, I'm gonna do the, the surgery, the treatment or whatever, but I want to do more, I want to do everything I can, I'm young, I want to beat this disease. I really used my cancer diagnosis actually um, as an opportunity, you know, as n not apropos as that may sound, but really as an opportunity to say, okay, let's um, let's figure out what else what else I can do. So I actually went back to nutrition school and started studying more about food and just learning and getting in the kitchen and cooking and doing apprenticeships. I was a supervisor in the Department of Public Welfare. I had been there almost 10 years, and basically I just had a, a chaotic, multitask, stressful type of work environment. I was able to leave with benefits to be able to support myself and my family. I was a stay-at-home mom, um, and which you know worked out really well for me. I was able to be there with the kids when I wasn't um, going down for treatment, so and I didn't have to worry about um, handling work and treatment at the same time. I worked throughout the entire treatment. Um, you know, I took four weeks off because of my surgery, but outside of that, I, I was able to work, you know, part time and then increasingly more. I don't have a kids or a husband or anything. I, you know, want to make a career for myself, so I didn't want to have to take a break or have this period with which I wasn't working. I worked up until I had um, the four surgeries. So I had a nine hour surgery, which encompassed all four surgeries. And so after that, I was out for about six months because then I went through chemo, I had to heal. Um, it made me look at my life and say, I need to put me first. And although I'm not a mother, I don't have children, I have mothered so many others that it was time for me to start doing that for myself. And at one point I was actually told, you know, the corporate world and cancer does not mix and that was by a superior. And it snapped me back into, wow, I, you know, how am I going to deal with this? My career was going really well and I was feeling really good about, I've got a bright future. And all of a sudden I'm thinking, wow, it's, it's all going to come to a screeching halt because I'm going to have to get treatment. I don't know what I'm going to have to do. Um, the doctor said, okay, you'll hear from me tomorrow by 3 o'clock. At 2.59, the phone rang. Um, he called my office and said, gosh, Valerie, that darn thing, it's malignant. So I got up, went to the meeting that I had at 3 o'clock, and completely broke down and started crying in front of all of my coworkers. I wanted to go back to work. I wanted to go back to to having something else to think about and focus on other than, than cancer. But um, at the same time, your priorities really change. Um, all of a sudden, I'm like, you know, do I want to be practicing law? Is this what I want to be doing with my time? You know, because you realize life is short and you need to make the most of it.